Hey, Mike here with Reprint Equipment. Today's video, we're gonna jump into replacing the printhead on this uh, VS540i. This is the DX7 printhead, and anytime that you get into the printhead carriage area, you know you risk a chance of running something else, so make sure you pay attention to this video. It is very vital that you uh, follow all steps uh, to make sure that at the end of the repair that your printer is working. As you can see here from the nozzle check, uh, I was having inconsistent results. I kept losing a channel, I'd gain a channel, and it was time to stop wasting ink and come to realization that this printhead needed to be replaced. Uh, with this printhead, you know, often we can be so close yet so far away. It's very common with the DX7 and DX5 printhead. The nozzle plate becomes uh, deflected. As you can see from the top of this machine, you know, I have $100,000 worth of defective printheads sitting on top of this machine, and they all have this exact same problem. Uh, none of them are clogged. They all have a weak nozzle plate. The adhesive has uh, come detached, and this is very common with this model. And I have other videos to show you exactly what's going on with this printhead, as well as other videos on how to troubleshoot other areas to make sure that it is the head uh, that is bad. Now we'll get into replacing this printhead right after this brief promo. All right, now the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get into service mode. And we do this by going down, right, left, up, right, down, left. And then we're gonna hold the right down and left button while hitting the power key with our other finger. Uh, it may take a couple times to get into service mode, but keep practicing, it's all about timing. Now this step right here is very vital uh, to make sure that you're not making a mess. Uh, these ink systems, when it comes to the DX7 printhead, uh, with the exception of the BN20, all have choke valves. Uh, this machine in particular has an automated system, which we can get into service menu and manually close the choke valve. If you skip this step, uh, you're likely gonna have a huge ink mess, uh, ruin your printhead and ruin various other parts. Uh, so please uh, make yourself familiar with the machine. Find your choke valve on the uh, VS. It's a manual process with an Allen wrench. It's on the left-hand side of the machine. You'll see a, a little opening for an Allen wrench on the XR series. Uh, you'll find this on the back uh, next to the ink cartridges. Very simple. Make sure you choke these lines off. If not, you will have a very inky mess and likely ruin something. So we're gonna hit menu, service menu. We're gonna go down to the IS menu, down to IS control, then down to choke valve, and then we're gonna hit the down button to close and then hit the enter button. All right, now that the choke valve's closed, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, unplug, power off the machine, then unplug it, very important. And I also like to, just as good practice, go ahead and hit the power button a few times to make sure we discharge any type of electricity that could be left in the machine. Now, before you jump right in and start taking this apart, uh, it's very important uh, that we remember the correct orientation of these head cables, and it's very important that we pull them straight out not to bend any of the connections. Uh, so I recommend taking your camera out, snapping some pictures. Uh, also, it'd be a good idea to take a, a permanent marker and kind of write uh, one, two, three, four on the head cable so you know exactly where they go back. I've seen many people struggle with this, have them in the wrong way, get lots of errors, and you can really uh, ruin a brand new print head if you're not careful. Now that I have the uh, head cables removed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tuck them behind the machine, make sure that they don't get in the way. Uh, whenever I'm changing this print head, I don't want any type of ink or uh, cleaner to get on these uh, cables. Very vital, so I tuck them behind the machine. The next uh, step is to locate the two screws. There's one on each side of the print head. Uh, there's uh, two hexagon screws. These are the ones that we will be removing. There's also a few uh, Phillips head screws. Those are for alignment purposes that we'll do in another video. So now that we have the screws removed, uh, all this left is to release these two clips on the left and right side of the printhead, make sure they're unclipped, and we pull this out nice and firm. Sometimes these things will uh, give us a little bit of resistance, and it's very important. Uh, in this case, we didn't uh, change the dampers. We did that in the troubleshooting phase. Uh, but these little O-rings right here, these are prone to come out, and oftentimes, you know, I've seen printheads uh, that people have them double stacked. They've put in uh, a new damper, and their old printhead, they've double stacked the o-rings so make sure you check your o-rings if you are replacing your uh, dampers uh, i will highly advise to make sure you have them 
all in the correct orientation. Uh, the, the valves on these things, if you have them touching one another, then they will stick and you'll have lots of other problems. So make sure that you uh, check the uh, orientation. They should all be the same direction. If your valve's at the top on the left one, the other ones should be in the exact same orientation. And another great tip uh, if you are replacing your dampers is to take a little cleaning solution and uh, dab a little bit of solution on these O-rings. That'll give it a nice seal uh, so you can ensure that uh, everything's sealed properly. So now we're ready to install our brand new print head. And I will state one last time, be very, very careful. Uh, when it comes to uh, this print head, it is very sensitive. And not only could you ruin your brand new $2,000 print head, but you can also ruin your main board and various other components. So be very careful. Uh, when you put the head in the machine, it will be labeled. There will be a F and a R. Front, F means front, R means rear. You wanna make sure that that F icon is facing you. That is the front of the uh, print head. And when you snap it into the uh, adapter for the uh, dampers make sure it firmly clicks when putting it back in and make sure that you installed the print head nice and straight if you go down at, at an angle there is a uh, little clip that you, you can get stuck on and it can cause lots of other problems so uh, make sure you put it in there nice and straight Go ahead and uh, take a look at your cables one more time. Make sure there's no uh, signs of chemicals, inks, or cleaners on the cables. Uh, make sure that none of the pins are bent. And then we can begin to insert uh, them into the printhead. You can do this two ways. You know, I typically uh, screw the printhead down first. Others may feel more comfortable uh, attaching the cables uh, before screwing their printhead back into the machine. Also, make sure you uh, pay attention to the uh, correct orientation of the cables. Uh, the cables are numbered one through four, uh, the one being in the back. So it goes one, two, three, four from the back. Uh, the third one, which would actually be the first from the front, is kind of backwards. Uh, but the, the second one from the front will have the black stripe. It will be the odd cable. Uh, so make sure, you know, hopefully you took pictures and you uh, labeled each one of these connectors. Uh, but if not, uh, they are one, two, three, four from the back. Number three would have the black stripe and it would be second from the front. Now I want you... Now before powering on the machine, I just want you to please look at the cables one more time, make sure that they're all secure uh, before attempting to power on your machine. Now we're gonna boot it into service mode, just like I showed you earlier, down, right, left, up, right, down, left, holding the right, down, left while holding the power key. And what you see me doing here, I've went to service menu, print menu, and head rank, and now I'm entering the uh, little code that was on the packaging. Uh, make sure that you do not skip this step if you want you know, optimum print results. Uh, this code is pretty important with the new printhead. So go ahead and enter that in there and then hit the enter button to save it to the machine's firmware. So now that we're finished, all we have to do is run a few uh, powerful cleanings, get the ink flowing again. Uh, just note that we saw what happens to the nozzle plate. So the least amount of powerful cleanings you can do, the better. Uh, also, I like to try, uh, try to stay away from choke cleanings. Uh, this really uh, limits the lifespan of your printhead. It's very harmful for your head. So try to stay uh, away from choke cleanings if possible. And I hate to say it, it's pretty embarrassing, but after all of this, uh, the printhead was not bad. Uh, initially, I got all the nozzles back, but the very next day I came in, turn the machine on and here you go uh, back to the same exact problem we had from the get-go uh, I did uh, you know all my major checks I replaced the dampers I replaced the cap tops and actually replaced the damper uh, twice just to make sure that the first one I put in wasn't defective uh, I checked the choke valve made sure it wasn't stuck but unfortunately uh, after a little troubleshooting I switched some lines around and figured out the problem and it, after all it was the choke valve I'll do a whole other video on this I'm going to show you uh, uh, how I troubleshooted this machine and uh, maybe it isn't your head this is very rare typically uh, all the colors come back and we're ready to rock and roll uh, unfortunately that was not the case I did all the alignments which I'll have another video on the alignments very vital to have perfect print results uh, but we'll do we'll keep this video uh, based on uh, the head replacement and as you can see right here uh, after I changed the choke valve uh, I was missing a couple uh, lines in the uh, the light black, which I ran another cleaning and it to totally eliminated it. Uh, but it was not the head. That's a good thing. I could reuse this head for another machine, uh, but I did all this work for nothing. So it's not always your head. Uh, so make sure you check out our other videos if you want help troubleshooting your machine. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.